Hey YouTube, this is Alexander, and today I'm going to be giving you my thoughts on Chromebooks and Chrome OS in general. So let's go ahead and get started. So before I actually give you my thoughts on those two things, I want to first lay down some definitions and a little bit of background as to what these things actually are in case you aren't aware. So first off, what is a Chromebook? So here's a Chromebook I have. It's an Acer C720P Chromebook. And if you guys are interested in actually learning a little bit more about this, stay tuned for the full review and you can actually check out my unboxing of it at the end of this video. But a Chromebook is essentially a laptop that's running Chrome OS. Now, your next question might be, what's Chrome OS? Well, it might be easier to actually start with what isn't Chrome OS. Chrome OS is not Windows and it's not Mac. Chrome OS is Google's operating system for their laptops Chromebooks, and you don't have the opportunity to run apps like Microsoft Office, you can't run Adobe products like Adobe Premiere or Adobe Photoshop, you can't use GIMP, you don't have Paint, so a lot of standard applications that come with laptops nowadays are actually not available on Chromebooks. It's essentially just a web browser. So now that we know what Chromebook isn't, we can go ahead and address what Chromebook is. It's essentially a web browser with a couple offline applications like maybe a calculator, you can create documents, which I'll talk a little bit more about in a second. Uh, but you do have a few applications you can use without the internet, but pretty much most of what you're doing on a Chromebook requires internet. So now that we know the differences between a standard laptop running Windows or Mac and a Chromebook, we can address the question of why would you want to buy one? The quick answer to that is because they're very affordable and you might want to ask yourself what kind of person you are when it comes to computers. If you're the kind of person who just browses the web and you need to create some documents, this thing is a really, really good option for you. If you're a person who needs to create content like videos uh, such as myself or you need to edit photos and you need heavy duty editing software, then this isn't something for you. So back to the Microsoft Office incompatibility with Chromebooks. So as mentioned, Chromebooks can't run Microsoft Office, so you can't create Microsoft Word documents, you can't create PowerPoint, and you can't create spreadsheets to some extent. Now Google does offer 100 gigabytes of Google Drive storage for two years, which is a $48 value for free when you buy a Chromebook. So what is Google Drive? Google Drive is essentially a place that you can store photos, videos, and other types of information. And the best part about it, you can create documents for free. So even though it can't run Microsoft Office, you do have the ability to still create documents. So if you're a student and you want to create essays or you need to create a slideshow, you can do that with a Chromebook, even though it doesn't have Microsoft Office compatibility. So as mentioned, you can create documents, slideshows, uh, spreadsheets, uh, drawings, you can create quite a few things in Google Drive's application suite. And again, it's all free. So in essence, it's an alternative to Microsoft Office. So say you don't like Google Drive and you don't want to create documents using Google Drive. Well, you still get the free storage if you want to sign up for that, but you don't have to actually create documents. You can access Microsoft's OneDrive website and still create actual Microsoft Word documents through their site in case you guys uh, actually want to do that instead. They also do offer an application for Chromebooks in the Chrome Web Store that you can download and use so that you can create uh, Word documents a little bit easier. So in essence, if you're a content creator or power user, I wouldn't say that this is for you because it's really just a light machine that doesn't require a lot of maintenance. You don't install applications like antivirus. You don't install Microsoft Office. You don't install Adobe video editing software. You don't install those types of things. You're primarily using Chromebook to access things on the internet, like Microsoft OneDrive if you do that, or Google Drive, your favorite social networking sites, Netflix, Hulu, YouTube, this is what a Chromebook is for. Now onto my thoughts, which are that Chrome OS is a very nice OS. It's come quite a long way since its uh, early development days, and I've been using my Acer Chromebook for a few days now, and I've been really enjoying the experience. I do own a tablet and a Chromebook now, so you guys might be asking yourself, if you have a tablet, why would you get a Chromebook? A tablet can do a little bit more in terms of the applications because the app stores for tablets are more robust than they are for Chromebook. So you can play full-fledged games on a tablet or use a wider variety of apps. But 
If you guys enjoy the form factor of a laptop, the gestures that come with the trackpad, you enjoy a hard keyboard, I would say a Chromebook would be a little bit better than a tablet. If you're somebody who enjoys the tablet experience where you can still make documents in Google Drive and you can still uh, play games of course and have a wider selection of apps, then I would say a tablet is really good. But I feel like they sort of bleed into each other a little bit because Chrome OS is pretty limited when you compare it to Windows and Mac. I feel like tablets, specifically Android tablets, have a tendency to almost bleed into what Chromebooks can do and they sort of uh, overlap at certain times. But they are two different devices for I still feel two different people. As mentioned, I really like Chrome OS so far. This Chromebook in particular has been treating me pretty well. Uh, I'm not going to say too much about it. You guys can stay tuned for my full video review. But anyways, Chromebooks are for people who like to watch videos, browse the web, create documents, simple stuff on the internet. And if you're somebody who needs to make content, such as videos or photos, this is not going to be the device for you. I hope this video helped you guys in understanding what Chromebooks and Chrome OS are, as well as me giving you my thoughts. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe down there for more videos, especially regarding my Acer Chromebook. Uh, I will be having a review of it coming soon, so definitely stay tuned for that. Don't forget to follow me on Google+, Twitter, and Instagram, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.